Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. And thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Friday, July 7th. It's the fourth week after Pentecost and week seven in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 141, Acts chapter 9, verse 1 through 9. Now join me in singing verse 6 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts. O oh, bless our God and never cease. O oh, saints, fulfill God's praise. Who keeps our life, maintains our peace, and guides our doubt full ways. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O oh, merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you. Overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, I cry out to you. Make haste to help me. Hallelujah. Psalm 141, and please recite it with me. Hallelujah, I cry out to you. Make haste to help me. Bend your ear to my voice. Answer me when I cry to you. Let my prayer rise before you like incense, and the lifting up of my hands like the evening sacrifice. Set a watch before my mouth, and guard the door of my lips. Let me not be inclined to do any evil thing, to practice wicked works with them that work evil, nor let me eat of their delicacies. Let the righteous smite me, it shall be a kindness, and let them reprove me. It shall be an excellent oil which shall not break my head, for my prayer is continually against their wicked deeds. When their leaders are overthrown in stony places, they shall hear my words, for they are sweet. Our bones are scattered at the grave's mouth, as when one cuts and splits wood upon the earth. But my eyes are on you, my beloved God. In you is my trust. Leave me not destitute. Keep me from the snares which they have laid for me, and the traps of the workers of iniquity. And let the wicked fall into their own traps while I escape. Glory to you, Lord of all, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, I cry out to you. Make haste to help me. Hallelujah. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 9, beginning at verse 1. Meanwhile, Saul, still breathing set threats and murder against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues at Damascus, so that if he found any who belonged to the way, men or women, he might bring them bound to Jerusalem. Now as he was going along and approaching Damascus, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. He fell to the ground and he heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? He asked, Who are you, Lord? And the reply came, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. But get up and enter the city, and you will be told what you are to do. The men who were traveling with him stood speechless because they heard the voice, but they saw no one. And Saul got up from the ground, and though his eyes were open, he could see nothing. 
And so they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. And for three days he was without sight and neither ate nor drank. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, hide us under the shadow of your wings, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Accept our evening prayer, dear God, and the lifting of our hands to you as our evening sacrifice. In you we place our trust, for you will not leave us destitute, nor ensnared in the traps of the wicked. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.